I want to be able to use inputs from outside the micro bit switches buttons and so I was playing with just trying to figure out how with it being in the, the bit booster I tried pin 2 because it's that's a, one of your basic large pins and it is part of the NeoPixel and so it's I know which pin it is as opposed to pin 1 and 8 which are also input pins 1 and 8 is an input pin um, but I don't know which pins they are there for sure so hard to use there I tried and I wasn't having much luck I could get pin 2 to work when I was just on the micro bit not in the bit booster but as soon as I plugged in the bit booster I think it's dedicated for NeoPixels um, I went again I went back to 1 and 8 because 1 and 8 are actually in the, the uh, Grove connector so I tried accessing them through the Grove connector um, that I wasn't having any luck with that so it came back to there are four extra pins which are pinned out over here uh, pin 3, 4, 9, and 10. The flaw with that is that pin 3, 4, 9, and 10 are um, part of the, the LED matrix. So there's one thing you have to do to make it usable is you have to disable the LED matrix so you can then use those pins. So I had to go find that out. It's, it's just one of the blocks in make code LED enable false. I'll show you here in a minute. Um, and then you can use those pins. So here's the, what I got going on. And sometimes it, it's using the pin with ground, and sometimes using the pin with voltage. Not always sure which um, which way it works, because sometimes pins are sent high automatically. Um, I forget what that's called, a uh, up resist or something like that. So what I did is I have a uh, voltage and ground connected here. It's always safest to test something to ground first. And then I have, off the screen, and then I have, so here's voltage and ground. Red is my voltage. And then I have pins three and nine plugged in here. Um, three is gray. So my code says, hey, if, I, if pin is pressed, if digital pin, if digital read pin three equals one, make it, make the top band go red. So here's P3, I'm gonna send it to the ground, nothing happens, but when I touch it to voltage, boom, they go red. And then I've got the same kind of code, but for nine, if I press nine, make those go um, green. So that is using those extra pins for inputs from outside, like a switch. Um, again, you have to disable the LED matrix in order to use those pins. And it's just a matter of connecting voltage to them. Three volts, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I don't think you want to use five volts or more. So let's see if I can not flip. I'm gonna pull this off the, the stand and go to the code. So there you see, see at the top is that LED enable false. It is, uh, that tells it to uh, not use those uh, LEDs. And then the set strip and uh, those four codes, things after that are just um, setting up the LEDs. And then you see my code there. If the uh, three equals one, then set, you know, that range, those uh, five LEDs red. If nine equals one, set it green. So that's the way to use uh, external switches without having to use the A and the B button.